oxidative stress is when we have an overwhelming production of free radicals versus the normal production of antioxidants. Normally, we have to have a balance between both elements. When we have more production of the bad guys, in this case, those unstable reactive molecules, as they said, they're free in our body and they're causing radical damage. When we have more of the upper hand on the free radicals versus the amount of protectants that we have, which is the normal antioxidant defense system, that unbalance over time is called oxidative stress. Oxidative stress causes cellular inflammation, disruption of the normal function inside the cell. They can attack those free radicals, the nucleus of the cell, our DNA. They can attack also the mitochondria, which is the power plant of the cell. And then the latest studies in anti-aging in longevity has been focused in protecting the DNA, not only from the core of the cell, the DNA from the mitochondria, because without power, you cannot work. That's why it's important to protect the mitochondria DNA, because it's there where we generated the ATP, which is the treasure molecule in our cells to do their normal functions. That's why we know that oxidative stress leads to cellular dysfunction, cellular mutation, even cancer or cellular apoptosis. And that will lead to cellular inflammation over time. And cellular inflammation is a silent killer in our body. By incorporating now a focus on environmental medicine and how we are exposed to those free radical sources from radiation, either ionizing radiation or non-ionizing radiation, by controlling that source of free radicals, we are going to diminish the oxidative stress associated with electrosmog. That's why it's important to count with technologies that pay attention to the environment and how the environment interacts with our membrane of the cells. By filtering those erratic interference or electrosmog or technology contamination that cause excessive production of free radicals from that source and leads to an imbalance over time between the normal defense of the cells and the environmental sources of electrosmog. And that will lead to better health because we are taking care of the sources of free radicals depending from electrosmog.